Well, we are back in the kitchen with one of our favorites, Melissa Dalford. And of course, it's never too late or too early to start eating well and giving your body its best fighting chance. And this next dish is cram packed with delicious ingredients, nutrients, and vitamins. Our Be Well Asian Chicken Booster Broth brings all the flavor that we need in a matter of minutes and will keep you feeling boosted all day long. So get ready to be bowled over. Did you? Did you? See what I did there? I saw yeah. What you did there. And, I, and I, I'm very impressed because it is quite a mouthful, this dish, as is all the flavors. So let's tuck right in. We've got over here, we've got some onions that I have started sauteing with, of course, our canola oil that we have added a few drops in. I'm actually going to give a couple of drops extra. So when last did you make a broth, Jamie? Maybe last year. Last year, I've not gotten into the winter fields yet. I'm not ready to let go of all the summer food. <laughs> so I. I do feel like this is more of a comfort food for me when I'm packing all the ingredients in and I want a warm bowl of comfort and just to soothe my soul. So mm. definitely slowly going to warmer dishes, but it's been well, a year, is so this is perfect. This has some time. gorgeous ginger, which I'm going to add in here with our onions that are busy sauteing. We've got some lovely garlic, high in antibiotics, actually, if you didn't know. Getting uh, very all the natural antibacterial. So we're going to add in our garlic. And then we've got beautiful spices. We have some cinnamon bark. Very lovely. Very Did lovely. you know that cinnamon can actually trick you out of a sugar craving? What? So if you add sugar into your oats or into your broths, cinnamon actually tricks the brain that it's getting sugar, but it's not getting sugar. That's why chai spices are so comforting. Oh, oh some star anise. Yeah, you really learn something trick. new every day. You see, yeah. I, just, I feel like I need a little Melissa every time I open up my <laughs> fridge or want to snack at something and just be like, Melissa says that no, you should have the cinnamon sticks. If only I could invent that. Uh, maybe it would push maybe me into the 1%ers. <laughs> Here's a little Melissa for your pocket. And then we've got some black pepper, so we're going to add that in. And then we're going to add in our soy sauce. This is basically the salt component of your dish. So use it mindfully. You don't want to over salt. You can always add a little bit more later on. Okay. And then we're going to add in our beautiful chicken broth. Always better to make it at home, but if you can't, store-bought does work. I love when you do it yourself, because then you know what's going into it. You can Exactly. Add to the flavors that you'd like to get. And the it. reality is the flavors always end up better. Definitely. If you make it. Oh, we're going all in with this. We're going all in. We're doing the, the whole kit and caboodle this morning because we want to make enough broth. And then you're going to add in your chicken. And once your chicken is in and cooking, you're going to save your veggies for the end because you don't want to cook your veggies right down to you know, no, you want that crunch, you want that, you want that crunch, you want, you want that freshness. So you can bring this up to heat and then you're going to add in your beautiful veggies after your chicken has started to cook. And I know this is where you get excited because you can just pack in all the veggies. I will say though, and not to take away anything from your recipe, I'm a chili person. So if I could um, throw in chili in there just to get all that flavors, it will just take it up a notch. It, nothing like a good, a good burn at the back of the palate. The, the, Definitely. With all Yum. that ginger and all that garlic that you already have in that, we'll just hit the, the profile exactly. for Exactly. I'm going to save the sprouts for the end. I love these pak choys. They're so beautiful, especially if you slice them in half. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? So yeah. you're going to pop all your greens and give it a good stir, and then you're going to have a yummy broth. Really quick and easy to just get it together. And again, just speaking about the hero of the dish, the Be Well, which is also endorsed by the Heart and Stroke Foundation. High in omega-3s, we know it's yeah. so good for you. So hitting all the flavor profiles for that, but also just healthy. And that is what we're all about. You said about said this, exactly. being mindful about your health is exactly. very important. Exactly. And the wonderful thing with this oil is, is that often we cook with it, but you can actually also use it raw. If you use a little, uh, like a teaspoon or two in a salad dressing, it can also be really delicious and yummy. And about 30 minutes, we have that that beautiful broth going there we're throwing in our mushrooms our gorgeous mushrooms you can see them over here beautiful high in protein not that we need it with a chicken but why not more is more and then you've got your sprouts which we're going to add on at the end to top our dish off with we're just going to let this cook down oh if you guys at home could smell this it's absolutely delicious Good. and then we're going to get ready to plate it i know that's going to take about 30 minutes but maybe you can pass on the dish over there and i will yes. have a bit of a taste to get in. Oh, I can right see there's some chili on here for you. Is it? Because the kitchen fairy's new. There you go. And you have a spoon there? I do not have a spoon. Yeah, a spoon I can do the whole <laughs> It's fine. The whole. The whole. Tip the bowl, tip the bowl. How yum is that? Oh, the smell. Especially with the cinnamon and the star anise. Mm. 
utterly delicious, right? Perfection. I, I don't know if anything tastes more perfect than this. I love it, love the flavor profile. Again, the chili is what does it for me, that ginger, the garlic, everything just comes together. This is cooked to perfe perfection, Melissa Dalport. So amazing. Of course, if you want to get your hands on the recipe and the ingredient list, expressoshow.com is where you're going to get it. But I'm going to dig into this again. Yum. I'm supposed to share with you. 